Hi, this is Fee. Welcome to the Springs Living Virtual Town Hall. We have an important update to share with you about the detect and defeat strategy to fight COVID-19. As you know, we've been tracking symptoms of residents and staff members every day since February 29th. This has provided us with the information to determine who needed to be tested for COVID-19 when tests were really hard to come by. Recently, we participated in an innovative surface testing study to detect the virus on high-touch surfaces. While the surface testing study is completed, we will continue the surface testing, putting all of our communities on a rotation in an effort to stay ahead of this virus, knowing that taking proactive measures works. Also, we'll be doing blanket testing of all residents and staff, even in communities where no COVID-19 was found through the surface testing. This has already been done in our Montana communities, and now the governor in Oregon has mandated it for all of our communities here. More details will be shared with residents and their families on a community by community basis. There is no doubt that early detection of surface testing within the Springs Living has saved lives through reduced spread. It's fairly clear that surface testing should play a big role in the ongoing fight against COVID-19. We consider surface testing a key element in our detect and defeat strategy, kind of an early warning system. We feel it's so important that we thought you might like to hear directly from the scientists or doing the testing. Brenda Conley, our Acting Chief Operating Officer, is back to interview Shula Jarrah from EnviroTech, the laboratory who led the study. Shula's here to tell you about how the surface testing works. Brenda, welcome back. We've got an exciting guest today. Thank you, Fee, and welcome, Shula. We just completed a research study with you guys, uh, with all 17 of our communities. So we would love to share with our viewers a little bit about that study and how it came about. And then maybe you could also share what we learned through that process. Sure. We decided to, to spin out this company called Enviral Tech. And Enviral Tech was really set up with the intent to keep people safe um, through more widespread testing. And so, um, you know, at, at the very beginning, when we put all of um, our resources together to, to bring this um, technology to people, uh, we thought it would be very good to work with um, places where the most vulnerable populations um, are. And, and so we reached out to um, Senior Living to, to see if there was an interest in participating in a study with the ultimate goal of demonstrating how um, surface testing can provide an early warning detection for um, when viral uh, particles enter a uh, community space. And so um, we undertook this, this study um, with 52 different facilities across the Pacific Northwest um, to really demonstrate uh, across the board how sensitive this detection um, type is and, and really to help provide that first layer of protection um, that we can detect the virus and, and um, the next steps can be taken um, once that detection has happened. Absolutely, and we were so excited to participate in this study, really wanting to be on the forefront of anything innovative that's out there to try and help keep our residents and our staff safe. And, you know, in this world where there was, changing expectations, changing, uh, you know, guidance as to how we should handle it. Uh, we knew that it might be a risk and it may not do anything for us, but we also knew that it could be something really big and we found that it was. And so from our perspective, having participated in that study, I know what we learned is that we were able to find COVID in our community five days sooner than when we would have seen symptoms. And I know that other companies may have had a similar uh, perspective having gone through it, but would you mind sharing with us some of the details of what your research team learned? Absolutely. The study has been very interesting because definitely uh, the Springs was not the only um, company that we worked with that, that discovered um, sort of this early warning detection um, outcome for this type of surface testing. It definitely provides an advanced warning, but some of the other uh, details that we learned were um, about the high touch surfaces and where we can go to to find that to sort of forensically find where this virus is hiding. Um, we learned about uh, cleaning uh, protocols and 
what cleaning protocols work and, and what don't. And, um, and that's been extremely impactful for some of the communities that we've worked with. We also um, know that, that it is, this is a very sensitive detection modality that we use. Um, the, the type of detection is very similar to what's used in the human diagnostic testing, although we um, are using it for our buildings and understanding um, where this virus hides in our buildings, and it's very sensitive, um, and we can, we can detect um, a very low amount of virus, which is extremely helpful when you're trying to find um, when the virus has entered your, your facility, because oftentimes you're looking for very small amounts um, of virus. And so that's been, um, you know, it's, it's been a really nice outcome to know that the uh, technology that we use is sensitive enough to give that early detection sign. Um, you know, we, we um, have started to look at um, so many other details, um, the, this, all this ancillary information. We, we didn't just collect the uh, information around um, the surfaces and, and how the surfaces were uh, showing either virus or not, but we collected information around um, the, the number of facilities that might show um, a, a a virus particle and and so that's been all very 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 useful information to all of the um, communities that are out there because it gives them a a very strong um, very sensitive way to uh, protect their communities by providing this very early detection um, and so that's been extremely extremely useful for for many of these communities and we're really just so thrilled that um, we've been able to be part of this and, and help um, help keep people safe in this way. Well, we certainly share that, uh, that wish for everybody. I know for us at the Springs, we see such tremendous value in this service testing process as a part of our overarching strategy for detect and defeat. Um, you know, coupling surface testing with the human testing and the consistent screening that we're doing of, of residents and of staff, um, anyone who enters those doors, all of those things working together with our sanitization practices, um, we feel as though we're putting our best foot forward to try and aggressively hunt this virus. And while others may feel a sense of fear about finding it, we've actually taken the stance that we, we celebrate that. Not that we, we want to find it. Certainly, we, we, we feel as though um, the sooner we can find it, the more we can reduce the spread, especially in some of our regions where we have communities where there's a lot of cases around. There's a lot of positive COVID cases around us where our, um, we have in our neighborhoods. And so we want to be very careful about um, that early detection and making sure that we're staying on top of things. Well, we want to thank you so much, Shula, for your contributions to the Springs Living and our fight against COVID. Um, we feel so strongly about it. As I said, we are going to continue working with you guys uh, for as long as it takes to make sure that we can get through this, uh, this virus together. And uh, we look forward to um, many positive outcomes going forward. Thank you so much for having me today. Really appreciate it. And now back to you, Fee. Thank you, Brenda, and thank you, Shula, for joining us today. We can't thank you and the entire EnviroTech team enough for helping us save lives and prevent the spread of COVID. Before we wrap up, I have a couple other things that I want you to know. First, please know that we recognize the need for you to reconnect with your family and friends. Although the state mandate, barring non-essential visitors, is still in place in Oregon, we are looking at how to reconnect loved ones beyond virtual FaceTimes and our looking glass. We will continue to visit each of you multiple times a day with meal deliveries, symptom checks, and simple stop-bys with friendly conversation. But you also need your families, and we know that. As soon as we can come up with a safe procedure to make this happen, we will be in touch with you. And always, if you have a specific concern, please reach out to your executive director in each of your communities. 
In other news, this week is National Nursing Assistance Week, and I'd like to thank all the amazing medication technicians and caregivers in our communities. They're the heart and soul for caring for each of you, and they're the heart and soul of the Springs. I can't thank you enough and appreciate everything that you do. And last, you should know that we'll be taking a break after this episode of our virtual town hall. But as always, we will continue to update our website, thespringsliving.com, with all the latest information and send out letters and emails to keep you informed as we need to do that. I may also pop by on a video this summer if it's necessary, but otherwise we'll reevaluate the need to continue with these virtual town halls and these videos in the weeks to come. If you value these video updates and you have an opinion if we should continue them, please let us know. Springs Living Friends and Family, this has been a hell of a few months. From the numbers that I've been reading, this virus has infected between 5 and 10% of us. Estimates have it reaching 50 to 70% if there's not a vaccine. This means we will continue to see folks get the virus. We know from our proactive testing that we must never stop fighting to find the virus and keep it out. Every detail is important. But we must be hopeful. I urge you to live your best life. Be brave, be vigilant, and don't stop living. Help each other, be kind, spread hope and good cheer. This is a great opportunity for each of us to be our best self, to make a difference, and who knows, our positive energy, our diligent health practices may just save a life. While we continue to fight, we cannot forget to live. So let's march bravely forward together. Until next time, be sure to wear your masks, wash your hands, and stay at least six feet apart from each other. These simple steps can make a difference. Be positive and hopefully test negative. Have a great summer.